Hello there guys and welcome, welcome back to the channel, right? So Kabam did release uh, Absorbing Man and Baron Zemo animation showcases uh, with, you know, a little hints of their special attacks and stuff like that. As well as we get to find out what champion classes these two characters are going to be representing. So let's quickly take a look at their uh, release trailer and then try and get out as much information as possible from it because there are a few things even though they didn't state explicitly that i think we can quite confidently um gather from this clip so this is going to be the baron zemo model it's more comic accurate as opposed to the mcu version which uh, i'm quite happy about i don't think you know they made him pop out enough in mcu aside from when he was dancing and uh then <laughs> quite uh Ironically, here we have Baron Zemo as skill and Absorbing Man as a mystic champion, which I definitely hinted to as a possibility because I do believe that Absorbing Man's origins of his abilities and backstory does involve Loki and some of mythical powers. But uh, here we can see that Baron Zemo will have projectile attacks in his kit. And there was a very important hint just a moment uh, ago that I'm going to revisit in a moment. And... Uh, here we can see his level 3 does involve adhesive X and going a bit nuts with his sword. And there we have Absorbing Man. One of the cooler things about Absorbing Man, obviously, is how he changes his body and basically morphs into materials that uh, he's touching. It does not necessarily seem that at the moment he's relying on opponent for any of these abilities during the special attacks, as he's just using materials from the Ball Realm or his Iron Ball, basically. But that level 3 does look amazing. So I do want to take a look at Absorbing Man's animations yet again after the Baron Zemo level 3 because I do think those are absolutely gorgeous to look at. And if there is one department in Kabam that uh, hardly ever fails us, then that is definitely the animation department. Level 1 seems to be fairly straightforward. Shoulder check. Level 2 basically swings around, <laughs> swings around about his ball. And level 3, uh, he eats something that he shouldn't and crystallizes the opponent and then uh, basically goes alternate version of Mephisto on him and he looks like quite uh, demonic at this point so that is how much we figured out so first things first obviously skill and mystic champions getting added skill is getting a bit of love recently so is mystic I suppose um, deservedly so and the first big hint here is in the level two so obviously those are projectiles that we can see there and we can see the circle there that circle would imply that uh, everybody's favorite mechanic is yet again going to be used for the ca for Baron Zemo's uh, abilities. And uh, for those of you who did not catch on yet, is I'm talking about root. So if Craven drops his traps and activates his root with his level ones, then Baron Zemo evidently does so with level two attack. And by the looks of it, is it is also instant kind of trap activation. And that's probably going to be extremely vital bit of his core abilities. Also, the fact that level 3 involves Adhesive X buries them under the weight of their failures as well. But uh, Adhesive X is kind of... Uh, we'll see how far they take that. Because Adhesive X is uh, like the OG Baron Zemo ability that basically was discovered, I believe, by his father, if you're talking about current incarnation of Baron Zemo. And it's kind of like, uh, just like a super glue in a sense that nobody really can get rid of it or escape it. And it's like one of the most potent glues, basically. So uh, it is going to be interesting to see what kind of after effects a level three like that will be able to cause in a matchup. And uh, then quite interestingly, looking at obviously... When you take a look at Absorbing Man, he does not necessarily fit, you know, the archetype of what you would consider a mystic character. However, if you think about it, you know, you being able to absorb opponent's powers could coincide with a mystic champion being able to steal opponent's buffs in a similar manner of Loki or Rogue, which I believe in this case, you know, Loki is quite appropriate as he has connection with uh, Absorbing Man's origin. And uh, it's going to be interesting because obviously characters such as an Absorbing Man should technically fight and play like a brawler. But when you involve ability to work with opponent's buffs and steal them or absorb them and, you know, 
duplicate them or whatever else it is going to be that they are doing with it uh will also give quite a bit of a reliance on the matchups and uh it is definitely going to be interesting enough to see what he does with you know immunities debuff duration stuff like that because it would stand to reason that he should be able to lessen specific debuffs that are applied to him based on his ability set and then uh, obviously again we do have certain expectations <laughs> of champions i'm gonna leave it here we do have certain expectations of champions that uh, are in mystic class obviously interactions with buffs um, often also some form of power control as well and um, or they could take it in a different direction if i have to guess then uh, I would kind of predict something more as, uh, let's say, more refined version of America Chavez, because America Chavez was initially meant to be the original Mystic Brawler as she was released. Now, since then, obviously, we have got a Juggernaut buff, and Tiger effectively works as a, you know, not necessarily brawling, but uh, nuking down a champion. So it is definitely going to be, again, uh, very interesting to go over the full kits and full abilities of these champions. Meanwhile, I'm just going to let this uh, animation showcase from this bit play out in the last bit again, showcasing both Baron Zemo animations and Absorbing Man animations. And uh, with that, we're going to be pretty much ready to finish this video. So here, as you can see, that uh, he does utilize his sword in his uh, general fighting, and he basically fights with a sword and a pistol in his hand. So that would probably imply some sort of bleeds, because both of those weapons ought to be able to bleed the opponent as well. And as I said, we could clearly see the root trigger on the level 2. A level 3, again, should be a quite interesting level 3 since it does involve adhesive X, X. And now when it comes to Absorbing Man, he goes metallic with his level 1. He goes kind of magma, uh, you know, lava, melting rock state on his level 2. And his level 3, he basically goes and turns into a giant demon. Uh, but... Again, just based on the class and the champion abilities, I do think it is going to be quite interesting to look at what Kabam does with these two. And uh, ultimately, again, I personally do not have like a massive attachment to either one of these characters. I do, however, think that both of them are quite cool. And I know for a fact that a lot of people have been definitely waiting for them to be added to the game. And uh, therefore... Let me know what are your guesses and predictions about these champions. How will they join the contest and what kind of ability kits you hope to see there inside. And uh, which one's your favorite? Which one you are more hyped about? That is it for now, however, and I will catch you guys later. See ya. Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. So we have all the information about the